Let's get right into it. Number 10. The Uniformity Assumption Every equation, every experiment, every scientific prediction assumes one thing. The laws of physics don't take days off. But here's science's dirty secret. We can't prove it. We assume gravity works the same in distant galaxies as in your backyard. We assume physics worked the same billions of years ago. We assume the speed of light was always the speed of light. But these are assumptions, not facts. Testing if physical laws are constant requires using physical laws. It's circular logic worthy of a philosophy major's nightmare, like proving you're not dreaming by pinching yourself in the dream. Some observations hint at cracks in this assumption. The fine structure constant, which is a fundamental number governing electromagnetism, might have been different billions of years ago. Dark energy is accelerating cosmic expansion for reasons that shouldn't exist. Physical constants might be variables we're too young to notice changing. If physics isn't uniform, science becomes local mythology. Our equations work here now, but might be nonsense elsewhere or else when. We're writing universal laws based on examining a fraction of a percentage of spacetime. That's like declaring the ocean's rules after studying a single drop. Yet without this unprovable assumption, we couldn't do science at all. Every achievement of human knowledge rests on an article of faith. Number 9. Why Existence Exists The Unanswerable Question Science can explain what happened a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, but ask what happened at zero, or before. Watch the smartest physicists on Earth short-circuit. Why is there something rather than nothing isn't just hard to answer. It might be impossible for minds that evolved inside something to comprehend nothing, like asking a fish to explain dryness. Quantum field theory suggests nothing is unstable. Empty space seethes with virtual particles popping in and out of existence. The universe might be what happens when nothingness has a panic attack, but that requires quantum fields to exist, so it's not really nothing. Some physicists propose the universe is a mathematical structure that exists because it's logically consistent. Numbers don't need a creator. They just are. Maybe physical reality is math that became self-aware. But why this mathematical structure and not another? The most mind-breaking possibility is that nothing might be impossible. Not just physically, but logically. Perhaps existence is the default state, because non-existence is a logical contradiction. The universe exists because not existing would break the rules of logic itself. We're here because here is the only option that makes sense. Number 8. The Observer Problem Reality has performance anxiety, and quantum physics proves it. Scientists shot electrons through two slits. With no one watching, electrons went through both slits simultaneously, like a ghost walking through two doors at once. But add a detector to see which slit. The electrons instantly pick one, like a kid caught with their hand in the cookie jar. This isn't philosophy. This is measured, repeated, Nobel Prize winning science. Particles exist in every possible state until measurement forces them to choose. Basically, imagine if your kitchen could be simultaneously clean and messy until you walk in and look. Wheeler's delayed choice experiment took this insanity further. They proved observation doesn't just affect the present. It kind of reaches backward in time. Measuring a particle now determines what it did in the past. As if the universe is constantly rewriting history based on who's watching. Scientists desperately want this to be wrong because it suggests consciousness isn't just experiencing reality, it's creating it. Every time you open your eyes, you might be forcing the universe to pick what's real. You're not just watching the movie, you're directing it, one glance at a time. Number 7. The Fermi Paradox 400 billion stars in our galaxy, billions of potentially habitable planets, an absolute, dead, silence. This cosmic quiet is driving scientists insane. The math says we should see alien megastructures, radio signals, something. Even one civilization with our technology level from a million years ago should have colonized the entire galaxy by now. But space is emptier than a ghost town. The great filter theory suggests something murders civilizations before they spread. Is it nuclear war? Is it climate collapse? Maybe it's AI uprising? The terrifying part is we don't know if humanity already passed this filter or if it's waiting in our future like a cosmic guillotine. Or maybe the zoo hypothesis is right. Earth is a nature preserve, and we're the chimps being studied by beings so advanced we can't even perceive them. They're watching us fumble with rockets the way we watch ants build hills. But the theory that actually makes scientists lose sleep is the transcension hypothesis. Maybe advanced civilizations don't expand outward into space. They go inward, into virtual realities or higher dimensions we can't detect. The universe isn't empty. We're just looking in the wrong direction. 
like searching for Wi-Fi signals with a compass. Number 6. Consciousness. Science can map every neuron firing when you eat chocolate. They can predict exactly which brain regions light up, but they can't explain why chocolate tastes like anything at all. This is the hard problem that's destroying neuroscientists. We know the mechanics of consciousness like we know how a piano works. But why does pressing keys create the experience of music in your mind? Why does anything feel like anything? Here's what breaks scientists' brains. You could build a perfect replica of a human brain, atom by atom. It would process information identically, but would it actually experience existence? Or would it be a philosophical zombie, acting conscious but feeling nothing? We've discovered that anesthesia doesn't just make you unconscious. It literally breaks the integration of information in your brain. Consciousness seems to emerge when information combines in specific patterns. But that's like saying a recipe emerges when you mix ingredients. It doesn't explain the taste. The terrifying implication is consciousness might be fundamental to the universe, like gravity or electromagnetism. Atoms might have tiny sparks of experience that combine into your awareness. The universe isn't just described by math. It might be math experiencing itself. You're not just in the universe. You are the universe understanding what it feels like to be you. Number 5. Reality's Impossible Lottery Win Change gravity's strength by a fraction of percent, and stars never form. Tweak the electromagnetic force slightly, and atoms fly apart. Every fundamental constant is balanced on a razor's edge thinner than a proton. The odds of a random universe having these exact values is 1 in 10 to the power of 500. It's like winning every lottery that ever existed, simultaneously, while blindfolded, on your first try. Scientists call this the fine-tuning problem, and they hate it because it suggests three mind-breaking possibilities. The first one is the multiverse, infinite universes with different settings, and we're in the one that worked, like infinite monkeys on typewriters accidentally writing Shakespeare. Then there's the anthropic principle which says, of course we see a universe perfect for us. In the failed universes, no one's around to complain. But that's like a puddle thinking the hole was designed perfectly for its shape, or the option that makes scientists break out in cold sweats is design. Something or someone set these dials deliberately. Not necessarily a god, but something with intent. The universe has a carefully calibrated machine, and we're either the purpose or the byproduct. Number 4. The universe's greatest illusion. Your future already happened, your past is still happening, and now doesn't exist. Einstein's relativity shattered time into pieces. Someone flying past Earth at near light speed would disagree about what's happening right now on Mars. Not because of observation delay, but because now is different for each of them. The universe doesn't have a master clock. It has billions of personal timelines, all equally real. Block universe theory goes further. Past, present, and future all exist simultaneously, like pages in a book. You're not moving through time. You're a worm-like creature stretched across space-time, experiencing your timeline one slice at a time. Your birth and death are equally real, equally now, just at different coordinates. Here's what terrifies physicists. If time is an illusion, why do we experience it flowing? Why does entropy increase? Why can we remember yesterday but not tomorrow? The answer might be that consciousness itself creates the illusion of time's flow. Without observers, the universe might be a frozen sculpture of interconnected moments. We're not in time. We create time by experiencing it. Number 3. Gödel's Incompleteness. The Truth That Breaks Truth. In 1931, Kurt Gödel destroyed mathematics, logic, and scientific certainty with one elegant proof, and science still hasn't recovered. He proved that in any logical system complex enough to include basic arithmetic, there must be true statements that cannot be proven true within that system, not, we haven't proven them yet, not, they're really hard to prove, but statements that are forever, fundamentally, mathematically unprovable despite being true. The universe runs on math which means reality itself contains truths that can never be proven, questions with real answers that were mathematically forbidden from finding. It's not about being smart enough, it's about hitting the logical boundary of knowledge itself. Here's what keeps scientists awake. We can prove these unprovable truths exist, we just can't know what they are. There are facts about reality, maybe about consciousness, maybe about quantum mechanics, maybe about why you exist, that are simultaneously true and forever unknowable. Gödel didn't just find a limit to human knowledge. He proved that reality itself has plot holes that can't be fixed. The universe isn't just mysterious. It's necessarily mysterious. 
Some questions that science is terrified to answer aren't just hard. They're impossible. And that impossibility is the most profound truth we've ever discovered. Number two, the neurological puppet masters. You clicked on this video. You think you chose to. You didn't. Your brain made that decision seven seconds before you clicked. Neuroscientists hooked people to brain scanners and watched something impossible. The decision-making parts of the brain light up before the person even knows they're deciding. They can literally predict your choice before you know you've made it. It gets weirder. Your conscious mind? It's not the CEO making decisions. It's the PR department, scrambling to explain decisions that already happened. You're writing a story about choices you never actually made. This discovery terrifies scientists because it shatters everything we believe about justice, responsibility, even love. If your brain decided to fall for someone before you did, what does that mean? Are criminals just following neural programming written before they were born? But if we can predict decisions before they happen, could we change them? Could we hack free will itself? The answer might rewrite what it means to be human. Number 1. The Simulation Hypothesis The smartest minds on Earth are quietly freaking out about something. What if nothing is real? Not metaphorically. Literally. Look at video games. 30 years ago they were pixels. Today, we simulate worlds so real they trigger actual PTSD. In another century, they might be indistinguishable from reality. And here's where it gets terrifying. Advanced civilizations would create millions of these simulations, meaning fake realities would outnumber real ones by billions to one. The math is brutal. If simulated worlds vastly outnumber real ones, we're probably in a fake one right now. Quantum mechanics reads like video game code. Particles don't pick a location until observed. Exactly how games save processing power by only rendering what you're looking at. The universe has a maximum speed. It has a smallest possible distance, which we call the Planck length. These may be frame rate limits and pixel resolution. But here's what scientists won't say out loud. If we prove we're simulated, whoever's running this thing might pull the plug. We could be one discovery away from deletion. Yet we can't stop looking. Because even digital curiosity feels real when it's all you've ever known. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.